Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 71. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Citroen Showcase. We've got four races to do for this one. Ladera Test Track, Camino via de Montserrat, Top Gear and then Silverstone. Let's get going. All right, here we go. It is time. We're back on the Ladera test track. It feels like it's been ages. Honestly, this DS3 is actually quite nice handling wise. The only issue is we are now onto these slower events, so there's not a lot of um, leeway in terms of mistakes. Like, you make a mistake, it's going to cost you, like, three or four seconds. As opposed to maybe one or two in a faster car. I don't like that that DS3 is going really quick around there. Speed is key, motherfucker! There we go, keep it going. Lovely. Not too bad. Whoa! It's Heinz. What a speedy looking car. I know, it's so fast. Not. I Actually, uh, I'll give it credit. It's quite, quite nice to drive around here. But to be fair, these tracks are actually designed for like slower cars anyways. They're quite cool. 69 miles an hour. Way! The chemist, the chemist, the chemist, the chemist. Do you know who I might listen to? Because I know his content isn't really copyrighted that much. Royalston. The fuck is this? It's Citroen Super Speed. No, it is the Citroen Super Slow. Oi. Yeah, the Citroen Super Slow. It's a slow fucker. There we go, 6.9k. I'll take that. Alright, here we go, race number two. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> I don't, ha. Uh, I'm, I'm choked on air. Uh. 
Oxygen slowly kills you. We. Yeah, I saw a really weird shower thought that was just like, what if we're actually allergic to oxygen, but it just takes us like 80, 90 years to die from it? And I was like, fuck. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a weird one. <laughs> Top speed, motherfuckers! So I've got an I've got an interest in dinner later. I'm just eating some chicken chunks. Just some chicken chunks. Chunks of chicken. Chicken chunks. That's it. It's gonna be yummy. But they're just chunks of chicken. Oh, oh. I might make up some chicken steaks. Like some flat bits of chicken. Stick them in a wrap. Have a wrap. Have a wrap. Have a Kit Kat. If I'm getting a thumbnail with this car, I need to get that corner. I just have no clue how this is going to be structured. Like, genuinely zero idea. No! I forgot to break. Not bad. It's another good race done. Citroen's doing a good job. We're up to a finity level eight now. Heinz, get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited for this mixtape. Honestly, so excited. Chase and status, like, I could. I was going to say, where the fuck are the AI going? Yeah, Chase and Status, uh, their new album. I have not been more excited for an album than this one. Most of the time, I'm like, there are some albums I'm quite excited for. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sub Focus's Evolve album, I was super excited for. That was a sick album. And like it, it delivered, it delivered. But a lot of the songs that were amazing on it were released early, 
if that makes sense. So none of the songs that were really, although they were good, they were like eight out of tens. There wasn't like a banger that was just like, oh my gosh. So it, it delivered, but it didn't over deliver. Obviously that, that's the risk with releasing singles now. Like most of the time the hype for an album dies off a little bit. This one though, from what they've teased, and especially with this song that was supposed to be on the album that they've, they're have they now releasing because of the album delay, this next song that Chase and Status is at releasing, holy shit, I'm so excited for it. Like, I can't wait. Friday could not come quicker. Like, come on, Friday, hurry up. I need you to roll around so I can, like, vibe to some tunes bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. it's easy smack yourself in the head <laughs> may wake up next year maybe not at all <laughs> I mean that could work but yeah I'm, I'm so excited for it like Banadam was an absolute shit like I found out an interesting fact as well today um, there are only 10 artists in the world that have made it with two songs in the top 10. One of those artists is Skrillex. One of those is Calvin Harris. I believe Disclosure is on that list as well. Um, I can't remember the other ones. There's 10 electronic artists and Chase and Status when they released uh, Disconnect and Banadan made that list as well which is unbelievable yeah 2012 era it's been very difficult for electronic music like that's specifically um their specific genre is just electronic dance or drum and bass or stuff like that and it's the f they're the 10th artist to actually get that status See, see what I did there? See what I did there? Oh, it was fucking great. <laughs> I'll try and find the post quickly. Because it is actually quite interesting. Go straight into the wall. Bonk. Uh, there are some songs from current Skrillex I actually quite enjoy. Um, I, I will give Skrillex credit. There are some good ones. There are some shit ones, though. As well. We'll start the race, but there are 10 electronic artists who have had two tracks in the top 10 in the UK charts. That is The Chemical Brothers, Fatboy Slim, The Prodigy, Daft Punk, Calvin Harris, Skrillex, Disclosure, Clean Bandit, Galantis, and Marshmallow. Marshmallow would have been over the last like five years or something. I think like five years ago when he was proper picking up. And now Chase and Status is on that list. Which I find it quite funny that Chase and Status wasn't on that list. From like 10 years ago. Because in 2011 with their No More Idols album. That was fucking phenomenal. But the fact that Chase and Status is now like. On this list of artists along with. Legends like the Chemical Brothers. Fatboy Slim. I'm not a great fan of Fatboy Slim, I'll be honest. But some of the songs that Fatboy Slim makes that are, like, amazing are amazing. But then you've got The Prodigy on there, on this list. Right, I'm going to put my phone down so I can do this race. The fact that you have those names and they're being said alongside Chase and Status. 
Fucking unbelievable. That's why I'm so excited to go and um, watch them. I'm going to be going to watch them in February and then hope potentially watching Pendulum in March. Don't text and dive. Yeah, would not recommend. Why? Why do you keep bringing up wood? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> that was a good one. That was another good one. <laughs> funny. Funny man, funny man, funny man, funny. That's what she said. If you have more than like 12 credits, I'll be surprised, Heinz. 234, way. Heinz, if you win a big jackpot, you have to buy a car with it and use that car. See? You won a jackpot, you've got to buy a car with it now. It is a must. You must do it. I, I don't care if you refuse. That's only 351. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>